Okay, we're going to look at a few application problems for this Category 3 Modular Arithmetic. So a good thing to note is that you can simplify numbers in Modular Arithmetic, just don't simplify the exponent. So if I was asking you to solve this problem 44 times 34 in Mod 7, you're allowed a calculator in this meet, so you could actually multiply 44 times 34 and get that that's 1,496. You could divide that by 7, and you get that it goes in 213 times, and it has a remainder of 5. So you would know that this answer is 5 mod 7. But there is an easier way to do this often for people, and that's just to um, simplify these numbers right away. 44, we know that that's equivalent to or congruent to 2 in mod 7, because 44 has a remainder of 2 when you divide it by 7. And 34, that's congruent to 6 mod 7, because 28 plus 6 is 34. So we can do 2 times 6, and 2 times 6 is 12, but 12 is not a number in mod 7. 12 itself has a remainder of 5 when you divide it by 7, so again, this is another way to see that this is congruent to 5. 